Hi guys, welcome back to the Mama Mixer. Today's video is going to be how I decided to become a stay-at-home mom and also some tips and ideas I have for you to make extra money if you want to be a stay-at-home mom. If you're deciding to be a stay-at-home mom, if you're thinking about it, why we decided for me to be a stay-at-home mom and some tips that I have learned along the way that I'm going to share with you guys. So if you want to see all of that, then just keep watching. So when I had B, I started working for a little bit and we decided that it wasn't practical for us to put him in daycare and some families have it where it's all good for the mom to stay home and the dad is able to take care of it and some are like me that uh, it doesn't make enough sense to put him in daycare, pay for daycare and then go to work because I basically would just be paying for daycare. So that's when I decided to stay home. I've been home with him now for three years. Yeah about three years and it is a struggle being home is a struggle not only financially but physically mentally it is a struggle to be home so it's definitely not everything that I thought that it would be but it's also more than I thought it would be what I did in the beginning when I first started staying home is I watched kids. So I took in other kids. It's really up to you if this is something that you want to do. It was good for me and it was good for Bobby because he was at that age where he needed to be around other kids. I didn't have to put him in daycare. I got paid money to watch other people's kids and it was just good for everybody. And I did that for a while. It was nice. It was fun. It was like a job though, you know, it was no stay at home mom, it was like a job every single day you were t taking care of other people's kids and that has a whole another video in itself, taking care of other people's kids. But that is a great way to earn extra money if you want to be a stay at home mom and it's not feasible for you to be a stay at home mom or like us it wasn't practical to send him to daycare but I wanted to earn extra money because I think that it's so important for you to have your own money. I. There's nothing worse than having to depend on somebody to give you money or it's not like you have to ask but you want to be able to contribute something to the household. You want to feel like you're giving your part. So yeah, if you're able to bring in money, that is a good part to bring in besides for doing the cooking and the cleaning. Um, so watching kids is another is a great one to do and I would highly recommend if you have the space, you have the ability and you have the want to earn extra money then to definitely take care of other people's kids. Number two, if you want to earn extra money, waitress at night or during the day, whatever works for your schedule, if you're able to pick up a couple of shifts and earn extra money that way, that is such a good one. If you have a place that you go to, ask them if they're looking for someone, and I think that's a perfect way. That's like hard labor. I did that for a while too. I've had, I literally had like a ton of jobs, but uh, that's besides the point. So yeah, if you want to earn extra money, definitely try to see if you're able to waitress somewhere because that's a great way to earn extra money. You can do it at night when your kids are asleep or when your husband husband is home or your partner is home, I think that is a great one. Another one, online they have companies where you can do freelance work, so if you are able to edit, write, um, do customer service, do data entry, there are websites online that actually pay you to get hired through these companies that will pay you to do work for them. I will have a list of those ones that I have used in the past and that I think are like reputable ones. Um, I will have those in the description box below. I did one job where you like research thing for someone online, you would do the research and they would tell you what they wanted you to research and then you would hand them all the research that you found for whatever they were looking for. I think that is a great idea, especially if you have like a talent. If you are able to do graphic design or if you're able to like write or translate, things like that, those are awesome. I personally don't have any of those skills so it's not as beneficial for me, but if you do, that's a great way to earn uh, extra money. Of course, if you do YouTube, you are able to make money doing YouTube. You do not earn that much money. You have to have a lot of views to get paid through AdSense. So I just had to freeze your girl for a second. I don't actually mean a whole lot of views. You don't need a ton of views to make money off of Google AdSense. You just need a good amount of views. So even if you have a following of a few thousand, you still will make money on YouTube. You don't need a ton of views, but you do need to have views. Now back to back to the video. <laughs> um, but you are able to get paid through other companies that pay you to review their products, talk about their products, but that just comes with the following. So if you have a YouTube following, you're probably earning money on uh, YouTube and that's a great way to earn extra money. It's not a lot of money and you might need to do multiple small things to earn a large amount of money, but it's all about the hustle and getting out there and earning something. Make sure that it's 100% the decision for you. Um, if you aren't like me and you're able to make the decision, try to live off of one income. Save all of that money that you are making, put that away and see if it's able, see if you're able to live off the one income. Is your partner's income enough to take care of everything? Because everything is going to be on them. Uh, toiletries, food, bills, 
rent, mortgage, anything that you have, the responsibility is going to be on him. So it's going to shift a lot of the responsibility to him, which is also another thing that you need to talk about and make sure that everybody is comfortable with. So those are all the tips and ideas that I have for being a stay-at-home mom. Just my opinion. I hope that if you guys are deciding to be a stay-at-home mom, you weigh the pros and cons because it may seem like a glorious job and an amazing job, but it's a really, really hard job. It's 24-7 all day, every day, and it puts a lot of strain on the family. So you want to just make sure that it's the best decision for everybody. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Be sure to subscribe to the Mama Mixer if you haven't already, uh, and we will see you on Tuesday for our live hangout, which is going to be a good one. It's really exciting. It's going to be our first jobs, and we're going to have a special guest. So make sure you tune in for that, and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.